Hey, good evening, everybody. Will from WC Review. I just, uh, I had something on my brain and I wanted to, uh, to get it out before I forgot it, you know, as we're all getting older. Um, I made a video yesterday um, from Steve from Scotch and Things. I had gotten um, a full tie um, XM24 hinderer and, and I love it. And I just wanted to share what I did with it. I, now, again, I had four other XM24s. Uh, I, I don't feel like going to get them in this one because it's really not about that. But it was a full tie, right? It had this scale on it, but the other side was bronze. So it came with the original black scale. So I put that scale back on the knife. And she's running on, I believe this one is running on um, Teflon which is super smooth. I had some Teflon, so I put it on there. I like to use them up. Uh, but I honestly usually prefer uh, the Phosphor Bronze, and I put the bearings away. By the way, Steve-O, I don't even know if you knew it, but one of the bearings uh, in the cage was missing from the, the full tie the way it was. It, it didn't, I, I would have never known unless I looked. Uh, but just, just an interesting uh, sidebar. But this knife is great. I'd love to know also what you did with it. Were you scratching a, um, uh, what do you call it, a fire stick on this? Were you using it? Because otherwise, the knife is in perfect condition. It's still very sharp. Um, the knife is, it's, it's pristine. It's excellent. Which just goes to show that these knives can take a fucking beating, man. Anyway, so this is the knife that I got from Steve with the original scale on it. And I have another uh, Battle Bronze 24. So I'm looking for a full tie bronze scale. Good luck to me. But that's, uh, this is the one knife. But I had another working finish, brand new out of the box uh, XM24. So I took the scale that I had from Steve's and I made what I, you know, proper, uh, XM24. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's got the etched blade and, uh, I just think it looks really cool. I figured I would, uh, share this with everyone. So now I've got a brand new full tie XM24. And I know, uh, extra crispy. This is for you, brother. Um, you know, this is this is a knife you'd like. I would highly recommend getting it. And they are a little pricey. So here's some advice. Buy the knife with the G10 scale. It's around like what, like $4.95? And then when you can, when you come across the Thai scale, get that separate and put it on. It's also fun, something to do. And, um, you know, unless, unless you got the dough, then go for it, brother. But uh, it's just a, an affordable way to get it. And then you could switch them around, and it, it's just fun. That's all I'm getting at. Uh, I also, another little trick, when you're taking these apart, I like to take a piece of scotch tape, and I run scotch tape across all three of these, um, the uh, standoffs, so that when you take these three uh, screws out, everything stays in place, and the standoffs stay on those little slides. It just makes for an easier assembly, disassembly, whatever you're doing. Because once these things start flying all over the place, it can be a real mess. So the scotch tape kind of holds things in place. I go boom, 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 take these out. Then I take the pivot screw out. It just, and then it comes right apart, goes right back together. If you want to clean it, you can leave that scotch tape in place. Um, another thing, I, I have a lot of knives in my collection and I love talking knives in case you hadn't noticed. If there's anything anyone see, thinks of or they like to see, just tell me, ask me. I'll make a video for you, man. I'll, if you want to see, if you want to, in fact, I'm probably going to make one anyway, but all of my uh, XM24s. I think I'm going to make a video on that. I have like five of them. I have five uh, 8010s. I'm about to get the uh, full tie 8010 in 3V. I want that. But I have multiples. I have three... Um, uh, on belays. I'm, please, I'm I'm not trying to brag. I'm just I'm just saying I have lots of knives. Let's put it that way. If anyone would like to see, hear, or talk about any knife in my collection, give me a shout out. I'll make a video just for you and just for everyone else too. So uh, anyway, here's the full tie. It's my first true full tie XM24. Um, I happen to have on loan from my buddy Aaron. The Eclipse in full tie as well, 
also in working uh, finish. I listen. I love everything about this knife, but look at it. It's it's just too small. Here, let me give you a little size comparison. I also love the blade on this thing, but but look at the difference, man. This is a good left pocket knife. It's sharp as shit. I love the blade. I wish they made one like this in this size. I mean, I, I again, I have big hands, but this thing just disappears. It's like, I don't know, too small. Other than that, I love the knife. It, it does feel really good in the hand. Again, this is the Eclipse in S45 with the spear point, and he puts an edge on it. I don't know if you could see that, but this thing is really, really sharp. Uh, so thank you, Aaron. And... uh Again, full tie XM24. Just wanted to share that. Uh, in working finish, so it kind of matches. So now I'm on the hunt for other XM24 full tie scales. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.